The 18th century Villa Sartorio, renovated in the first half of the 1800s by the architect Niccolò Perche in the neoclassical style, was, since 1840, the home of Giuseppina Fontana, who owned it, and her husband Pietro Sartorio. He was part of a family of corn merchants from San Remo, who in 1775 had established a commercial branch in Trieste. The last descendant, Anna Sartorio, who passed away in 1946, bequeathed the villa with its park and rich furnishings and collections to the Comune di Trieste so that it could be turned into a museum. This elegant and striking mansion is a prime example of bourgeoisie life of the time and has been preserved almost intact with its original furnishings. Among the rooms, the most remarkable is the neo-Gothic one on the first floor. It was used for games and music, and is a rare example of neo-Gothic interiors, a trend which originated mainly in France around the mid-1800s. Other first floor rooms include a ballroom, one with a hunting theme, little music rooms, a library, and a dining room laid with precious china and silverware for Mason and Vienna. All these spaces evoke the various styles which were in fashion throughout the 1800s. It's also possible to visit the chapel with its vestments and the kitchen with its original furniture and its precious set of copperware. On the second floor, one can visit the collection of 254 drawings by Giambattista Tiepolo acquired by Giuseppe Sartorio in 1893 and ranked among the five most important in the world. There are various annexes to the mansion, including a greenhouse turned into a conference hall, a carriage depot, and former warehouses and stables transformed into a collection of plaster casts and statues and into a picture gallery respectively and the underground basement where the remains of a first century AD Roman house were found. This has been turned into a display space and it currently houses the exhibition Istria. <laughs> 